What's up friends? Hey, it's Brian and uh, we're doing a little bit something different with this video. We did a tour of um, Andy's Hobby Headquarters yesterday. Uh, we wanted to pop in on a weekday, early in the day, hoping it wasn't going to be too busy. And it still was because it is Andy's Hobby Headquarters and it's a popular shop. So uh, you will hear chatting in the background from other customers and stuff. Uh, most of it's unintelligible, so it's just a little bit of background noise. Uh, and uh, we did bump into our friend Luca from the Luca C channel and we got to hang out for a while, talk models a little bit. Uh, kind of joke around and then he introduced us to his grandson Felix who is one of the cutest little kids I've ever seen so that's kind of fun uh, but um, please do stick to the end of the video because uh, um, Luca does have an, an invite for us uh, that kind of caught us off guard and I'm very stoked about and honored um, and looking forward to doing so thank you Luca for helping us out I appreciate that greatly thank you to Andy for letting us film in the shop on a, on a sort of a moment's notice type of thing and I uh, hope you guys enjoy bye now hey what's going on guys it's Brian and we are at Andy's Hobby headquarters and we're gonna pop in and see our new friend Luca and see how he is doing so let's go in and see what's going on All right, so here we are at Andy's, and there's our new friend Luca and our Hello, friend Andy. How, how you, you guys doing? How's it going, Brian? Doing pretty good, man. It's nice and warm outside, so it it's... It is. That's why it's much better to be in here. It's exactly. It's 14 today. Yes, <laughs> but it's a nice, pleasant atmosphere in here, and um, it's perfect uh, styrene melting temperature on your dashboard, isn't it? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're here checking out the vintage stuff that Andy has on display from that awesome stash that he uh, acquired recently. And then uh, our buddy Luca is going to show us around a little bit here. Let's take a look at the stuff. And I got my partner Felix with me. Felix is his partner in crime. Come on, Felix. Let's look at some models. But uh, yeah, first off, you know, you've got... Uh, Andy's been refilling this and refilling it. And people are coming in and buying. So this is... All a part of that collection. It wraps all the way around. If you want to look, oh yeah, it's going to the stuff. This is kind of the the basic stuff right now. So I got some great stuff here. I'm just going to change. Awesome stuff. I've already picked out a couple of things for myself that I'm going to come back and slip out of the, out of here. But yeah, man. So how did uh, Andy come across this stuff? Just. Uh, um, you know, we hate to hear it. Someone unfortunately passed away, a collector, uh, and uh, he, uh, his widow came in and said, I've got this stuff. Well, it, it happens to Andy quite a bit just because he's this store. You know, they, they need to figure out what to do with the stuff, and the easiest thing to do is uh, come on in. Nice. <laughs> well, it's, it's an actual honest service that he's providing oh, for yeah. the families and stuff helping them move the stuff out of the house and everything absolutely, so that's absolutely yeah they, they are grateful to him I, he's he's definitely a, a nice guy about it awesome well he's a nice guy all the way around well he got a, a reputation about that where there's some people that are kind of vultures and he's known to be being so fair much. with people being, being fair being it's fair all about people. being fair yeah. hey he's trying to steal a drink what are we going to do <laughs> Security. You want to pay? You want to pay for it? There you go. Let's see. give it to. He throws it, it in his Andy. pocket and leaves. <laughs> give it to Andy. Give it to Andy. Yeah, he's putting it in his pocket. Oh, there you go. That's economics right there. Jeez. Oh, there you go. Thank you, sir. Let's go around over here and uh, to the uh, car section of the store. You want to show people we do have the sci-fi I mean, on this side everything when it comes to model kits everything the sci-fi section is really awesome i agree I, I like that stuff you you built some gundam and yeah i do yeah as a matter of fact i do yeah so i mean that's it but do you build a cup of noodles i have yet to build any type of food huh. <laughs> i'm this this kit is actually on my radar and there's only three left he had a bunch of them. They sold. But here's more of the collection. This is more of the, the more collectible, rare, expensive stuff. Uh, not really over the top. I mean, Andy's definitely 
he prices things a lot less insane than some of these people are trying to get for this side. He, he wants to be fair with people. No, I have to agree. Let's oh, let's take a sample real quick. Let's take a look at this guy here. So we're looking at that's twenty six bucks. That's actually an awesome price for that guy. Yeah, because that on on eBay, that particular one is going for a lot just because it it has all the racing parts to it. It's right. Not just the Mustang. You got all the Shelby racing parts. Cause actually, I got one of those. I think one of these days I wanted to build that, just like all the other kits I have. Well, you are a Mustang man, right? Uh, now I am. I used to be a Camaro guy, but you know those things happen. <laughs> I got to say, I am looking at that new Bronco, so. Oh, that thing is pretty cool. I hope they do a model of that. Mrs. That's BG said, I know, I know. Mrs. BG says, as long as you keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so. Look at, this is all wheels and rims and tires. This and is I'll, I'll awesome. Tell you, when he first got this whole collection here, I mean, he had a lot of it. It's been, he's been selling the heck out of these. And I think he, he can still get a hold of more of it, but it was really neat when he got them in. Look at that, 15 bucks. That's an yeah. awesome price. Yeah, that's a totally reasonable price. And uh, even more up here on my eyesight level. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I have to get a step ladder. Look at these guys here, these are awesome. Oh yeah, he had a ton of those too. Boy, they were popular, they sold. I love that kit. All right. But he's basically everything that's out now. He's got, and of course, there was a lot of really cool kits that have been gone for a while that were in the collection that mm -hmm. went up in here that were still sealed. Oh, okay, so cool. He really filled the shelves. Good deal. I was here the other day, and I heard some model car guys that was kind of tucked in the back, and they were just going, "Whoa, I haven't seen this on the shelves in a while." <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, I think this is the last one he's got, and I'm buying it. There you go. That'll be next month's stash ad video? Uh, it actually might. Uh, it's top secret what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think we got a scoop here, folks. <laughs> but, uh, excuse me. Yeah, it's a. So this whole wall is basically just automotive. Yeah. Top to bottom, you got the trucks, and then you got the Tamiya. He keeps. He had over there was a lot of the Oshima. He had a ton of the Oshima, and a lot of that sold. And, Probably get some more, but now he doesn't have room. There's even some more of the stash and some of the deals and oh, there's right there on the there was some behind me over here. Look at yeah, this. There's some stuff you haven't seen in hobby shops for years. Like remember those? Oh my goodness, yeah. I think that's '90s, you know. So look at these guys here. Sometimes it's a, a trip through memory lane coming here. And what are these? What are these NASCAR okay, ones here? This, this was something strange that it, um, when. There was a point in time when Monogram had completely discontinued the Buick Regal stock car kit. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, companies would contract Monogram to do kits for them. And they put it in their own box and sell it. So that's just the Monogram Buick. Okay. And th this was probably done, I want to say, in the nine mid-90s or something. Nice. We got down here on the bottom. But there's first edition and final edition. I just noticed that. Oh wow, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. We got first edition, final edition. So. <laughs> it's got the GMP. whole GMP. Got right. the whole span. If anybody knows any any more about that, put it in the comments. Yes, please do. Please do. GMP models. Yeah. So then we got uh, airplanes and military over this airplanes way. Airplanes and military over here. Good. We'll take a quick scan down yeah. here. So feel free to pause the video on anything you want to take a closer look at. But we're just going to do a general sweep here. But it really shows what an incredibly stocked model shop this is. Exactly. Oh, that, that's been the great thing about this store. He's always wanted to keep all holes filled. Yeah, that's one of the things I love about this shop. One of the things I love about this shop, he's even got some uh, building manuals here. All sorts of stuff because of the internet you don't these books aren't done as much so he used to have a giant wall with that stuff and it's kind of shrunk a lot you know that's a good point it's a good point he, and he was involved I, I don't want to say wrong but I believe these books were actually he was partnered up with the, the company there was some books that Andy was involved with 
bring him to publication that were very popular with the tank guys. How cool is that? Yeah, he gets pretty involved. I just, you know, I'm a car guy, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're car guys. I just was always hanging out and around when that stuff was going down, so I know it happened. I know that some of these planes do actually have wheels on them, so that's kind of oh, okay. that's kind of where I'm at with that. Well, I'll, I'll build I'll build airplane models. I'll build any airplane model as long as it's Corsair. Right. <laughs> Do have a couple of those. So you're not gonna do like your April Fool's video and just throw everything away and uh one never knows. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're gonna go around the corner and see some armor. And over there is all the armor. Wow, that is a lot of Tamiya. Quite honestly, I, I I'll I'll give you a scoop for my channel one day. I hope to do a build. And it's as far as I'm concerned, it's a model car, and uh, you know, this I have. Uh, no, it's not that. <laughs> I can't find the model, but it's a model I've always wanted to build of Tamiya's, an armor model. But it's the Deuce and a Half. But he's it's a very popular kit, and he's all out of them right now. Oh, it definitely so, is a popular kit then. Yeah, I, that's a that's a model I've actually always wanted to build, and you know what? As far as I'm concerned, that's a that's a car model. Agreed. Agreed. I really, I like, yeah, I built I'm this so once, we were like, and I actually turned it into a, uh, a civilian vehicle. Oh, very cool. A German civilian vehicle. How'd you like working with that smaller scale? It was different. It was kind of a nice change. So it kind of gets me wanting to do more gotcha. someday. But I got to build some of my regular stuff first. I find that that size uh, is very shelf friendly. Uh, you know, desk friendly, it, so you have space. As long as somebody doesn't drop it off the shelf. Oh. Which happened to mine. I'm not mad. Oh, my daughter, she was trying to help out and she was cleaning. And, and well, I yeah. took a header, but I have all the pieces. One of these days. That might be one of the models I restore on my channel. Well, we have a rule in our household. He who uh, builds the models also dusts the shelves. Ah, good rule. <laughs> I like that rule. I need, to, I need to dust the shelves. And then there's more military down here oh and all kinds of ancillary kits that go with it and um, making dioramas and stuff. And then this monster. Yeah, I, I thought these were just gigantic. decorated suitcases, but they're yeah. actually model kits. Yeah, they're Good model work. kits. And look at the price. You, The model car guys, model car guys, look at the price. <sighs> yeah. Just, uh, you know, you want a stash room full of those, huh? Yeah. And, oh, look, I did. I found my kit. That's well, there we go. I'm talking about. Oh, nice. 148 scale, too. Yeah, Sweet. Yeah, that I definitely, I'm going to build that one day. I got to buy it one of these days. One of these days? You going to hide that? He's got a couple of them, so... <laughs> All right, so I want to say thank you very much to Mr. Luca uh, for helping fun. us out, and I'm glad to, help out. to Mr. Felix for I'm carrying the uh, the official drink of the show. And Mr. BG, it's been great to get to know you, and uh, you guys be looking out because on my own podcast, that's one of my next guests. I'm all over that man. Right <laughs> I'm all over that. Thank you so much, my friend. All right, you take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye now. Bye.